Hi folks, this is Calc 1, Checkpoint Quiz 15. We're asked to find the value of this integral using the limit process. Okay, so this is one of these areas as you go functions. Uh, we're not given a definite upper limit of integration. Uh, we're integrating from 0 to x of this function, which is a, a function of t. The function of t here, the integrand, is 3t squared minus 2t plus 1. And so what do we know about that? We know it's a continuous function on any of the intervals we have here, which means we can find this limit, or we, excuse me, we can find this integral by taking a limit of the right-hand sum. So the, uh, the right endpoint sum, as we developed in class, can be found by the formula b minus a over n times the summation, i goes from 1 to n, f of a plus b minus a over n times i. So the b minus a over n, that's the width of each of the rectangles because we're using a regular partition. The a plus b minus a over n i, that's the right endpoint of the ith subinterval. So we just plug in what we know. b is the right endpoint of the interval we're looking at, which is the upper limit of integration, which is x. a is the left endpoint of the interval, which is the lower lim limit of integration, which is 0. So b minus a over n, in this case, is just x divided by n. Once again, a is the lower limit of integration, which is 0, and b minus a over n is x over n. So I just get uh, x times i over n. I substitute that into my function, f of xi over n, and what do I get? 3 times xi over n squared minus 2 times xi over n plus 1. And I want to use properties of sums to simplify this and rewrite this as a function of n, ultimately with the goal of taking n to infinity. So I get x over n times, and using properties of sums, I can break this up. Sum i equals 1 to n of 3 times xi over n squared minus the sum i goes from 1 to n, 2 times xi over n plus the sum i goes from 1 to n of just 1. Okay, so... Moving right along, I got x over n, and as before, I'm going to factor out everything that has everything that doesn't involve an i from this expression out front of the summation. So the three can certainly come out. When I square this fraction, I'm going to get x squared i squared over n squared. So I can bring the x squared out over the n squared, and that's just going to leave me with i squared inside minus 2x over n times the summation i goes from 1 to n i. This one we can go ahead and simplify because this says we add 1 n times. So it's just going to give me n times 1 which is n. So I have x over n times 3x squared over n squared the sum, of n, uh, the sum of i squared from i goes from 1 to n is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, all divided by 6, minus 2x over n. The sum i from 1 to n is n times n plus 1 over 2 plus n. So I have x divided by n times, and there's some cleanup we can do here. Cancel that out. Cancel that out. So the first term inside the print or the brackets here is going to be x squared times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, all divided by 2n. On the next term, the 2s cancel and the n's cancel, and I'm left with x times n plus 1. 
And of course, I've got that n there. Last but not least, I multiply the x over n through. So I'm going to get x cubed times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, all divided by 2n squared minus x squared n plus 1 over n plus x. Okay, so finally then to find this uh, integral, we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity of the right endpoint sum, which is this, folk, uh, this guy here. And so we use the usual techniques we learned about limits at infinity. Remember, I'm taking a limit as n goes to infinity. So as hard as it may be for you to, to realize this, as far as, x is, as far as n is concerned, as far as this limit is concerned, x is just a constant. So what I'm going to do is factor the n out from this quantity and from this quantity, and that's going to give me an n squared. When I take the n out of this quantity, I'm left with the 1 plus 1 over n. Here I'm left with the 2 plus 1 over n. And in the denominator, I've got my 2n squared minus x squared times, factor the n out there, I'm left with 1 plus 1 over n, over n, plus of course x. Now let's see what happens. The n squareds here cancel out, the n's here cancel out, and as n traipses off to infinity, as I said before, x cubed, that's just a constant. So I'm going to have x cubed there, as n goes to infinity, 1 over n goes to 0. This quantity goes to 1. 1 over n goes to 0, so this quantity goes to 2. All over the 2. Minus x squared. This quantity goes to 1. Plus x. So my grand final answer. The integral from 0 to x. 3t squared minus 2t plus 1 dt is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus x. And as we noted in class on Friday, if I take the derivative of my answer, I would get 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, which is the function indicated by the integrand here, except instead of using the variable x and the integrand, I'm using the variable t, but it's the same function, it's the same process that's being represented. Well, that'll do it for quiz 15.